Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn them notifications on. So we are back today, and you may be able to see, currently in the milking parlour. So today's video, gonna be doing a bit of a repair job here in the parlour, and it involves this back gate. So, it's, well, it's pretty much knackered. Uh, the, to start with, the weight has fallen off the end. So these gates, just as a little bit of an insight, here is one that I made a couple of years ago after that one broke. These gates work so that when you're in the parlor, you just flick that and then let it go and the gate lifts itself up and then sits here whilst the cows walk in. And then you just shut the gate back down and lift the latch up and then shut the gate up behind the cow. So this gate is fully functioning and working. It works, it sits on a couple of hinges here, weight on the end, keeps it so that it goes up. The gate on the other side, though, the weight has fallen off. Now I'll just flip the camera so you can see this. You'll see that there is a lot of play in this gate, look. The hinge system here is slightly different. It's actually held on bolts. So we'll change that. But today, because of the poor condition of this gate, I'm gonna be making a whole new gate. So we're gonna make this piece here that goes up behind the cows, somewhere for our weight to sit on the end. And then I'm also gonna be renewing all of the piece here that this actually hinges on. So it hinges on here. You'll see just here, maybe, that this has cracked. So I could repair the weight on uh, this gate isn't going to last much longer. That's today's job. Hopefully we can finish it today. It's currently about 12 o'clock. Just finished some jobs from this morning. But yeah, this gate has seen better days. To start with, I'm going to get this gate off and use this as a kind of template for making our other one. Really, the only troublesome part is just getting this angle right. Now, as you'll see on this gate, it is a single piece that is bent round. Now, I haven't got any real way here of bending tube easily so what i'll do is just cut these on a certain angle like i did with this and then weld it up together this one like i say i made this two years ago and it's still working as well as the day i made it i've got some old scrap metal to use but we'll go and get that in a minute but first of all i shall get the grinder and cut these pins off actually i might just get the impact gun and undo them pins and we will take this gate off and get it round to our workshop. So here we have got our gate laid out on the floor. So I've took this out and yeah, it's, it's in a pretty sorry state. And here we've got our new gate. Comes flat pack, a bit like an order from Ikea. All we've got to do is just put it together. Wish me luck. So you'll be able to see that this piece of pipe here is pretty well the same length as this piece. Now obviously it does go around the corner. So what we're gonna to have to do is cut an angle into this piece. That's the di most difficult part of this job is just getting this angle correct at the top here. Now I've got a metal cutting saw, but the blade in it isn't brilliant. But we're gonna give it a go, see whether it works. So kind of my way of constructing this in my head. Create this piece first, then mount the hinging pieces onto this and then do this piece after it's not it's not an overly difficult job it's just making sure that everything goes in the same place on this one as the last one i might just keep this piece the same and cut it off here and just add a little bit of an extension in because i do feel that will make it a little bit easier we'll uh, bush these hinge holes up because you'll see they're pretty Knackered. What I am first of all going to do is get our saw and make the angle on this piece correct. So let's hope it works. just got our angle and I believe that that isn't far away we've got a little bit more of a gap here on the bend 
that that's the angle we've cut on. You'll see it's not far away from the same angle as that gate and the length I'm going to leave obviously as I said before leave this trailing over here so this is the latch inside of the gate. Uh, main reason for that is because I don't want to cut it too short and it not go under the latch but easier to leave it too long fit the gate and then just slide it in and cut it off to where I think in the milk parlor. So what we'll do next is just get this ground off here shine this corner off a little bit and just going to shine it up here and then round there and then weld this together tack it together roughly where I think shine the rest up weld it in you'll see there's a slight gap there but to be fair it's, it's quite a nice fit so that will go together lovely Shot up. Turn our gas on, weld is running. Um, currently on power setting four, might go to five. We'll speed down to three. Right, let's see whether this will, will weld. So now, I've just done a tack there. Pull the bits of a wheel off. That was hot, clever. I'll just flip this up now on its top. There's that welded. So now, Take this. Looks pretty similar to me. Just push that down. Distances are all the same. So we'll get the rest of this welded up and hopefully it'll be all right. There is the piece welded together. There's a few bits of wire there sticking up, but we'll get them off after they've cooled. That will hold, hopefully. So next, there's our starting piece so that's the bit that goes behind the cow and that's the other bit next we will cut that top off and put the new piece coming up off the hinge piece and across and then just to finish it off we'll put our piece of tube on the bottom of there somewhere which is where it's going to hinge and then i'll go and fetch the weight from in the milk impala put it on and job should be a good one so a little bit further now just welded our bottom hinging piece on the bottom of there, not the most squarish cut. Basically how that works is a piece of tube goes through it like that and then this piece hinges on that which is like this here, it's that piece just under there. I've slightly redesigned it because this one's adjustable but the other gate wasn't that I made so doing it the same. Now I'm not sure with this one whether to cut it off here, put a new upright in and side piece and leave these hinges as they are. I'm kind of toying with the idea of doing that, but it's just making sure that I get it on the exact angle from where the hinges are. So that's the only logistical problem at the moment, but so far so good. But now we've got a bit further and it's kind of just looking like a rock across pieces at the moment. Just trying to figure this out. Weight goes on here. This is obviously goes on to our hinging system that's fixed in the parlor. So I've cut this piece of tube off here and well this section in I don't know if I've shown but we've put that in the bottom of there and then I've just welded our cross piece across here so now what I'm going to do is cut this off flush to this side and then on this side here we will probably cut it down a little bit and then I'll just put a little bit of a ring of weld here just to stop this gate moving side to side there was a cap on the end of it before but a ring of weld will be enough because as you'll see there isn't a lot of a gap i'm just contemplating going to the milking parlor with this gate now just to check that it is right before i go any further because if i go and weld this all together and it doesn't fit i will be pretty annoyed so that's what we'll do now 
just head to the parlor, check it all fits in as it should, and then we can complete the job. And there we go. The gate is now rehung. I have still got to sort these hinges out. As you'll see, it's hanging on these bolts at the minute. I really don't like that the way they are because there's a lot of a lot of movement here, and obviously you can't do these nuts up these pins up tight because this gate's got a swing. But let's have a look. It goes under latch and latches into place. And now we should be able to just grab the end of our gate, push it, and it will open itself like that. There is the job finished. It's probably not quite as good a job as I'd made on the other side, but this side is a little bit more worn out. When we get them hinges sorted, might just raise them a little bit because this bar here is slightly touching. So we do with that being about five or six mil higher, it's nothing. Let's just whip around here and have a quick look at this gate. So you'll see, again with this gate, I've made a bit of a mistake when I was making it. I'd cut that too short. But you'll see that that one opens itself. And now so does this one here. Voila. So I think that brings us to the end of today's video. Just showing the making of the new gate. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you all in the next one.